Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. I want to show you what line I've been using. Somebody asked on my show. It's called uh, Web Pro uh, Slick Super 8 Slick. We've been trying that. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than I like. It's a 20-pound test, a uh, diameter of a 6-pound test on a, a, a monofilament, but it's a 20-pound test, super slick line. Hey, somebody told me I wasn't telling what I was fishing with and uh, or using, and I, I'm going to do that this morning. <clears throat> I have done it, but I don't do it every episode. But uh, I'm using a uh, H2O Express rod with a H2O Express reel, a uh, metal reel. Uh, my rod, you know, it, it goes from uh, 12 to 20 pound test, one quarter to three quarter ounce. It's a seven foot H2O from Academy Sports. And then I'm using an old, old doctored up gold spoon here this morning. Uh, uh, that I'm using a berry spoon, 1.06 berry spoon that I've kind of colored up and put some reddish stuff on it uh, and gold. Uh, I've just got that one on and we're using a Big Daddy jig. You go to Big Daddy Crappy Bakes to buy the, the spade tail jigs. And I'm using a blue head hand painted. And then at the top, I'm using a H2O uh, 1 8 ounce head from Academy Sports. Got the double barb with a gup shrimp. That's what we use, and it's a two inch gup shrimp. I do not use three inch gup shrimp. Three inch is a little bit big for this perch's mouth, so it's a two inch gup shrimp. Let's see if we can catch one. I haven't even started yet. This is the first drop I made, and uh, it's Friday morning. It's overcast and rainy, and we're gonna try to catch a couple here. On Lake Monticello, loving life. One thing I don't like about this slick line, it wants to stick on itself on the spool, but it, uh, it's really smooth. It don't make the noise when you're reeling up. Uh, on my other rod, I got just a regular old Power Pro 10 pound test, and this size of a two pound monofilament. I like it really good, but it makes noise when you reel it up. This slick don't make noise, and I just bought it because it was on sale, give it a try. And it seems to work okay. I don't know which one the best. Uh, you know, as far as the, look at that, I already got a, oh, go to have a fish the first pull. As far as the diameter and size, uh, you can't hardly beat the, uh, the uh, Power Pro. And both of them, you know, is a power, both of them Power Pros, one of them just a, a slick A, super slick A. And I'm getting bites already, so it might be a good day again today on Lake Monticello. We caught the devil out of them yesterday, had some big catfish. Hey, day is already, look at that. Huh, there he is already. Jumbo Magnum already. You got to love it. But I had somebody comment uh, to please show what I was using each time. So I maybe I'll start doing that. And, and you know, I, my problem is I do it once or twice and I think everybody's seen it. But a lot of people are just coming on and they got no clue of what I'm using. And we're fishing today right now in 50 foot of water. I got it on spot lock. I put it on spot lock. I drove up here. I didn't look for any fish. I got on side the point and put it on spot lock and started talking. And you see, I dropped down and caught a fish. It's all about getting on the points of the ridge before they go off in the deep channels, in the trees. And they ha they feeding it and getting ready to sprung uh, uh, on these ridge points. And they, they just uh, staging is what they're doing. And somebody asked me what depth I thought that they uh, spawn in. I really can't answer that. I can assume anything. I think some of them might go in and shallow and spawn, and, and, but I think in this lake that a lot of them spawn at least as much as 60 foot deep. That's what I think. Now, I might be wrong about that, but this is another day they're bumping and missing. I can see that right off the bat. They out there, plenty of fish out there. And we're gonna catch them, hopefully. <clears throat> I caught some nice catfish yesterday. They bumping it. And it's calming down a little bit. It was kind of rough when I first got here. I'm running late because uh, uh, I had to try to get my, my film uh, doctored up from yesterday and get ready to put up on YouTube. And uh, Miss Deborah is taking the day off and going to a uh, trade show in, in Greenville with her uh, uh, broadery stuff. And, uh, and she won't be back till late, so I decided uh, yesterday's video will be put up sometime this afternoon, and today's video will probably be put up tomorrow, because 
I got to go to a funeral. My first cousin, Doug Cumliner, one of the, my favorite guys in the whole world, passed away a couple days ago. And I uh, got to go to his funeral today. I mean, uh, tomorrow. So I won't be fishing on Saturday. But I hope I put this video up on Saturday. Thanks to all of my fans that watch the old fisherman videos. Appreciate you. And go to stevecumliner.com and check out my store. We already lost the jig. Right off the bat, one of them broke off. Boy, we starting off with good luck, ain't we? So now I'm going to swap to the other rod. That happened yesterday. I don't know what's going on. Hey, we got fish on us. We got two uh, two uh, Big Daddy jigs on this one now. Uh, go to Big Daddy uh, Traffic Baits on Facebook if you want to purchase any of them. Uh, I'm become associate uh, Amazon, and, I, and we're supposed to try to, I don't know if we can figure it out, put a link on my show. If you go to Amazon, if I'm using Gup Shrimp or any of this stuff that Amazon sells, you can go through my link to buy it, and I will get paid for uh, by promoting. So uh, that's something new. We had not got the link up yet, but I think I've been approved. I, I'm not sure yet. We don't know what we're doing. We're we fumbling through all this stuff. And anything you see me fishing with, you can go to my link. You can go to Amazon and buy it through my link. I'd appreciate it. Help yep, go fishermen out. Let's drop it to the bottom and see what we can do. I, I tell you, I like that other rod the best, but I got to tie a jig, and I don't want to sit here and tie when I just start the video. We'll do that in between cuts. We got a few fish hunters. I didn't even fish here yesterday, so I'm starting at a place I didn't fish yesterday. This is the first stop I made with the Carolina Outdoor TV crew the other day. Hadn't been back since. There he is. Hey, there he is. Hey, there's something out here. And they're pretty good. At and they're biting again today. On Lake Monticello. Look at that. Jumbo Magnum on a Big Daddy Green jig. We don't have the gut shrimp now. Uh, I just got, and I'll show that up close. We're using a Boom Daddy rod now since the oven broke off. Boom Daddy. Just put it on spot lock and show you. Uh, Todd Smith's uh, uh, bumping spoon. Boom Daddy rod, same reel, H2O. Both of them are H2O rods. And, and we're using a, uh, I got a bumping spoon and a, a swivel above it. And then we got a, a swivel above that with two lines going off. One to a uh, Big Daddy jig. And we got another Big Daddy jig about 18 inches above that one. Hey, we're double jigging. Big Daddy's eighth ounce head. That's what we're doing this morning. And on this one, I got the Power Pro, regular Power Pro, 10-pound test line. I like it because it's smaller. You can't see it. It's a, uh, a green. It's called a moss green. And uh, that's what we're using. All right, let's drop it to the bottom. We got plenty of fish down there. They plenty of fish down there. I could be tearing them up, I wouldn't be talking. See that? That's what I'm talking about? I could be tearing them up, I wouldn't be talking. Let's see if we can get two. Let's see if we can hold it down there and get two on it. Seems like they hit the big daddy. I believe that's two right there. Hey, that's two. Let's see if we can get three. Who knows? I know we got two, I can tell you that much. I know we got two. You gotta take your time if you want to and not pull it right straight up. Let it swim around down there. Hey, you let it swim around down there, then you get three. See that? Three at a time on Lake Monticello. Big Daddy Jigs is working. The Big Daddy Jigs is working. That's what we use, buddy. We don't use doggone uh, 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 gup shrimp. Gup shrimp don't last as long as Big Daddy Jigs. And, and if Big Daddy Jigs is working, that's what I'm going to use. Josh Powell, Big Daddy Jigs. Uh, between 96 and Saluda, go to Big uh, Big Daddy Crappy Baits on Facebook. And they, you can find him and, and make your purchase if you want some of them. Or EZ Mark over here at the top of the lake at Lake Monticello has got uh, Big Daddy G's. And uh, thanks to EZ Mark again, I got my his maps, uh, Lake Monticello Contour Maps on my uh, on my store at my website, stevecumlander.com. He uh, got my maps. He gave me, he donated some maps for me is what he's doing. And I'm, uh, per, uh, you can purchase them off my store. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.
We catching them again today. Listen, yesterday I went home and I didn't clean fish. The day before I ended up had four five gallon buckets full to clean. When I got through cleaning fish, I sure didn't want to see no more fish. I don't mind telling you. It wore me out cleaning fish yesterday. But anyhow, I got to go to a funeral. My, my favorite cousin, it does come out of cut hair and chapin. Passed away. He's he done it watching the Carolina basketball game, and uh, uh, just a good way to go if you got to go. But I don't know what happened. He's up in age, and uh, just one of them things. It's your time. It's your time, people. That's why I tell you to enjoy, enjoy every day of your life. Boy, look at that one perch. You talking about a big perch, people? That, my friend, is a good pound and a half perch. Hey, Jay, look how long gated that joke is. Damn, look how long gated that thing is. That is a big perch. Oh my goodness. I think, I think this is some of the biggest perch I ever caught over here. And I caught a lot of big ones over here, but let me tell you, there's some whoppers over here now. That proves right there I ain't catching them out. Sometimes you come over here and you can't find them. You think there ain't none left. And then all of a sudden, they show up from where I don't know. They open the perch door to the lake, and they come here. And then you catch them big ones. And they ain't nothing like catching them big perch, especially if you get two or three at a time. Two or three at a time, is, it's just plum wonderful. Look at that. They bumping it already. They down there. There's fish all over that fish find. I'm mean, all over that fish find. And see, I didn't ride around and look for no fish. I just went to the point and start, started fishing. And that's what we do. That's a good one right there too, buddy. That's a good one right there. What I'm talking about, that is a good one. Might be a catfish. I don't know what he's doing, ain't he? Them old big perch like that pull like catfish. Look at the size of that one. This is unbelievable. Them's an unbelievable perch. I got to show both of them at one time. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. Look at that. Look at the size of them doggone perch. It's unbelievable, people. Oh my goodness. You read about them in the Perch Magazine. There might not be one yet, but we might start one. Perch Magazine by the old fisherman. Oh my. Love and life. Hey, good morning, Arthur. How are you this morning? I hope you're doing well. Arthur Woods, Mike Brandon, Miss Pearlie, uh, Miss Angela out in uh, uh, Oklahoma. Miss Pearlie's in Florida. And all my people that watch my show, Rodney, Hardney, uh, all y'all folks, I uh, love all of you. And uh, hey, ain't nothing like fishing with the old fishermen. If you can't go fishing, you better turn on. If you like fishing, turn on your video. Uh, the video of your YouTube show to the old fisherman, and it's almost like being that's the next best thing. I wish I could uh, uh, let you feel some of these tugs on these lines because let me tell you, it's fun, it's fun, and it's more fun. I mean, this is unbelievable how much fun it is to catch these doggone white perch in this lake. This is the one of the best white perch lakes in the country. Is what it is. Big Daddy Blue Jigs, wearing them out today, so we ain't gonna mess with no gut shrimp. Let me tell you, I got a lot of them Big Daddy Jigs and can get more of them easy. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Slow down, smell the roses, look around you, appreciate everything you see. Don't let, look over things, look at it and appreciate it. Why are you here on this earth? Enjoy everything you can. Because there's a, lots of opportunities, lots of things to do to have a good time and do what you love and love what you do like the old fish. I hadn't heard yet when my Carolina Outdoor TV show was going to uh, be on, but uh, I can assure you they quit filming. We didn't, he didn't film much for us catching fish. It was all about uh, showing about me and 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 uh, and, and Monticello Lake. And uh, but uh, let me tell you, 
we got enough fish catching you can see on my videos. I went to Instagram last night and posted the first time on Instagram. So now you can follow me on Instagram if, if I can figure out how to do all that. Uh, Miss Deborah went on Instagram and posted me with them stripers I caught uh, the other day uh, in Lake Murray with that little bass assassin swim bait. Them was two fine stripers. She put that picture up and a little advertisement about going to my YouTube channel. Uh, I've been told I need to be on Instagram, so hey, we hey we getting better, we learning. Uh, it takes some learning and adapting, and, and that's what we do. We learning and adapting. Old Looney's back. He likes to get in the camera. Looney, Looney took a good big perch off my hook yesterday. I don't know if I got that on video or not. I had the video rolling, but listen, I had so much footage yesterday, I just started cutting stuff out. I wish, you know, if I wouldn't have, we'd have had a two-hour video. It was just that much catching. And, uh, hey, you can't have two-hour videos. I mean, you can, but y'all won't look at them. I guess you can click through it and watch me catch the fish. But, uh, hey, we loving life and the fish eating it up. I don't mind telling you, they eating it up. They eating it up. Uh-oh, I messed around and let that get off track. Oh, nothing to you. I think we got a little one, what it is. Let's see what we got. We got a little one. I don't know if he's little or not, he's running. He's running from dog to loony. Looney's right, right on his trail like a rabbit dog on a rabbit. Is what he was, he's right on his trail. The only thing about this Big Daddy G, I really probably need to have a quarter ounce head instead of an eighth ounce because it wants to flip up and make a knot, and I can't stand knots. And you got to sit here and pick them out. If you let it get too tight, catch a couple fish with a knot, then it's hard to get it out. So once you see a knot, you best get the end of that hook and pick it out immediately. Because if you don't, it's going to end up breaking off like that other one. That's probably what happened with the other one. Probably got a knot on it, and uh, and uh, and that's what'll happen. Oh, gone! This thing here tied a lot of knots. Lower me up. This ain't good. I tell you, once you get this doggone perch rolling, you're sitting here playing with knots. That ain't good. That ain't good. And my old eyesight's about gone. I messed up yesterday and didn't bring any glasses. Now, you talking about a mess. I couldn't see how to tie nothing. Okay, hold on. I need to put them on now. I got them laying in the boat here, though. I brought them today. Let me tell you, I'm to the point in my life, if I don't have glasses, I can't tie a hook. A lot of times I miss, uh, I double my line. I don't know if I've told y'all that, I know I have. I always double my line when I tie uh, a, a knot to make it the double strength at the knot. I always have, because I always fish with small line. And I think it's important with small lines to have two lines going through and do the same thing. A lot of times I just crimp the end of the line and make and, and double it up and put it through. But a lot of times you got to cut it just stick both ends through it and tie your knot. Polymore knot, knot. Stop! Oh, Loan it. This remote drives me nuts. It can drive you nuts, this remote. Hey, yeah. Hey, they bite. I'll tell you that. They bite. They bite. We ain't got but one, though. Ain't that something when you got to say you ain't got but one? That's what you call greedy. Hey. We ain't catching a lot of little ones. We started getting deeper water and we started catching bigger fish. You can mess around in shallow water catching little fish. You want big fish, you better get deeper water. In this lake, now I ain't saying all lakes the same, but I'm saying that the clarity of the water of this lake, you can see about three foot down, I'm guessing, in this lake, is Lake Murray. Now, Lake Murray is actually cleared in this lake in the clear part of Lake Murray up toward uh, Johns Creek, Mid Lake, up toward the dam. But uh, where I've been fishing Lake Murray lately is, is dingy water, and I've been fishing shallow. But I'm not too sure. We haven't been messing up catching the big perch. Probably ought to be deeper, Lake Murray. What I'm thinking. What I'm thinking. I was trying to get two, but I don't think we got one. 
Yep, we got two. Look at that. Show us the world. If you hesitate, you might get two. That's all it is to it. If you if you jerk him and come up real fast, you ain't gonna catch it. One. As long as he's gonna get breakfast right here. I know he's ready. Watch it. He'll take it. See? You already got it. That joker lay it up under my boat. When I throw that fish, he's seen it going out there through the air. And he come out from under that boat and crush it. Them fish are all out in here. Fish on fire. There ain't no doubt. I don't know how long they're going to stay on fire. Probably until they spawn. And then after they spawn, they'll be skinned in when they spawn, which will be probably be in May and March. Because uh, the eggs, I noticed yesterday, wasn't ready in this lake. The ones in Lake Murray are ahead of Lake Monticello. The fish in Lake Murray uh, are spawning now. Uh, the ones I've been catching, they all had eggs, but they all little. So most of them are little, but they have all dark eggs. And uh, so they're spawning now in Lake Murray. Uh-oh. We might have to take it off spot lock and do a little circle swing in here. We've been sitting in one spot. He ain't really been doing a thing but pulling it up there. I don't know them to stay like that long, but they've been biting. So, you know, if they're biting, why not stay on spot lock? If they ain't biting, then you got to move it around. And then it tapering down a little bit. See, they ain't buffing it, but it's still there. I still see the fish. They just get what they is. Boy, he thumped it. Woo! That was a big thump. That might have been a bass thump. I just missed it. Them old bass will take that thing, buddy. They'll thump it. Like that right there. Like that right there. Huh? Like that right there. Like that right there. Oh, my. Huh? That's a good one, too. Oh, I good, but he's a good one. I guarantee he's a keeper. Look at that. Jumbo magnums. That's what they are. And they're full of shad, so they eat. I can tell you, they eat. They got a big bass tournament on this lake. I think they said tomorrow, a big cat tournament. Well, I got to go to the funeral, so I won't fish anyhow. Sad to see my old buddy go. Loved him like a daddy. But you know something? There's something to be said about the way you go. You got to be all laid up in a hospital with tubes in you. That ain't no way to go. When it's my time, I hope I'm fortunate enough to go just like Doug did. He kind of coughed a little bit and went to sleep. You got to, you know, when it's your time, that's got to be a good way. And and not in bad shape on a, in a hospital. You got to hate that. All right, little fish. Let's do a little circle swing here and see what we can do with the old boys. I think they're kind of taping off. We told them to admit it, though. Hey, they still out there. There's plenty of fish here. We're just going to circle around and get another little bite. We'll catch them all. We'll catch them all. Miss Deborah's heading to Greenville. Her and her girlfriend, Mary Keels. Them two is like two peas in a pod. Mary started the sewing stuff and then embroidery machine, and then next thing you know, Deborah's following in Mary's footsteps. So it's kind of like when you get uh, you have one dog at the house, and he's a good good dog. I ain't saying they ain't good or bad now. Don't get me wrong, but. You had to put another dog to him, and next thing you know, they're running around killing chickens in the neighbor's yard. Uh, it seems like when two gets together, they get up to most stuff. But my wife, next thing I know, she got to, she's always been friends with Mary from uh, high school. And Mary's a, a wonderful girl. And uh, But Mary's got into that uh, embroidering and sewing and all that stuff. Next thing I know, Miss Deborah's buying all the same machines. So she's copying her. Now, them two rascals is day and hog having both of them doing the same thing with embroidery work and sewing and this, that, and another. That's their hobby, and they love it just like fishing's my hobby, and I'm proud for them. But they both heading to Greenville today to the trade show. Hey, taking classes, learning more stuff. You got to, hey, ain't nothing like, and I preach it all the time. Find out what you like to do and do it. Hey, you ain't got but one time around in this world. I just, my regrets is I wish I'd have started doing this here 20 years before I did. Y'all would have been having crappy videos instead of perch videos. 
I can tell you that. Oh, this morning, that's why I'm a little late getting started. I went to my crappy hole over there thinking, hey, they might be there, but guess what? They wasn't there. They wasn't there. And they might not even, they might be done done it. I don't know. I've been out here messing with it. But the water temperatures don't want, it got cool again and 53. So usually it takes about 60 degrees. And that water temperature gets in the 60s in this lake. I ain't saying all lakes. And them crappies usually push up on the bank for a couple of days and do their laying and they gone. You won't see them no more. That's the way this lake operates. And it might not be but a couple of days. And it's got to be, and this lake has got to be with high water. They ain't gonna do it in low water. They'll pull back off the bank, hang out there, and wait for the water to get right. A lot of times they come up at night and do it too, when they pump that water in. So, so you hitting a hitting a miss in this lake. A lot of times you want to catch them in this lake. You got to get when they get ready to spawn and come over here at night and fish when they're pumping water in and get it full. And that's when them crabbies, that full water is when they gonna come to the bank and lay the eggs. That's what I believe, man. Everything I say might not be factually true, but it's what I believe. All right, we need a bite. I got fish down there, they quit biting. They've been, they've been doing this, we caught a good many. Got to love what we've done. Weird day today. Hey, yeah. Uh, took control. Took control. The good one, too. Real good one. Took control. What he wanted. Bigger too. Look at that. Look at that water size perch. That is a super dog, buddy. That's all there is to it. That is a super dog. Magnum. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Don't catch nothing we got a good mess of fish because they all quality fish very few small ones this morning few not many the big ones is out feet i'm out getting ready to spawn laying on the bottom out there we got to make them bite we got troll we got troll to catch them big ones once you start pulling you feel one tap to touch it there he is oh i missed it he hit it what they want, they want it pulled. 45. I see some scattered, but they ain't a lot of them. There you oh, that was a good bite there. I should have caught that fish. That was a good bite. There he is again. I got him that time. You got him that time. You got him that time. Big one, too. You got him that time. Come in here, boy. Come in here to the old fisherman. I made a super, super, duper dog bag. They're hitting that blue. They're hitting that blue. Look at that, what a fish. My goodness, what a perch. What? My goodness, what a perch. Y'all can't tell how big they are way up yonder. Look at the size of that sucker. It's huge. Look at him. The right there is the right line uh, distance. That's a big perch. Folks, getting ready to go home. I'm stopping at one more spot. We'll see what happens. See if we can catch a couple of nice ones in here. See what we can do. On Lake Monticello. There was a bite right there. I think we got one. Little one. Little one. Oh, ain't no little one. He's a big one. A jumbo super dog supreme. What he is. He ain't no little one. There ain't no little one. Oh, he got it, too. He got it. Let me catch another one. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Old fisherman. Hey, it's been a cold day. We've got about 30 or so. No, I've probably got more like 40 or so. Uh, they, they bit kind of slow, and but, but yet we've caught some nice perch. We've got some jumbo magnums in there today. Uh, some really nice perch. And uh, I just caught a nice one. And maybe we'll get a couple more here on Lake Monticello. 
Oh, they got it that time. That's a good one. Told you a big one was going to hit it in a minute. That's a good one, though. Catfish. Uh, might be something snagged. I don't want a gun. Whatever it is, it's pulling. I think it's something in the belly. Yeah, that's a fish hooked in the belly. That's what I'm thinking it is. I ain't sure. Might be a catfish. And it's funny. Really funny. Oh, what it is. I'm thinking snag hooked something. A doggone catfish in the back. Look at that. That's what I'm telling you. Catfish in the back. Doggone it. I knew it was something going on. I ain't taking him. I had enough of catfish yesterday. These jokers here, these blues, they ain't got much ma uh, meat on them. You fillet them, you ain't got nothing but a little thin piece. Go in the back. Oh, look, he goes and grabs a hold of him. He's going to have a mouth. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Jumbo Magnum on our gut. New penny shrimp. That lonely ass, you thought I was going to give it to it. You must be brain dead. Up until the bottom and see if we can get a nut. There's something down there. I see them on the bottom. They ain't hitting that blue up here. Hitting that gut. Because the water got a different color in it, it's probably hitting that orange blue is better. What if he was hitting, hitting the orange? I see a lot of fish out here. Or be killing them. They just ain't had hit. Them. Hey, that was a bite. Golly, I missed it. That was a good bite. I just missed it. Another bite. Look at that. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. That's a nice one. He's running too, buddy. Look at that. Gump shrimp again. Yeah, I'm about to tore it slam up. No, he has tore it slam up. We don't have to put a nothing on. We're going to catch him. Folks, got a nice one on right here. Nice one on right here. I don't know what he is. Nice one, though. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. I think he's a bass. I think he's a bass. Oh, yeah. He's a bass. He's a bass. He's a bass. He's a bass. Look at that. Look at that. What? Look at that. Old bass. Good eat size bass. Took that dog on blue jig. He sucked that blue jig down, let me tell you. He sucked it down. What? Hey, they sucked it down. My dog on that too. Look at him. Let me show you what we got. Huh? Let me show you what we got. Good eating size chunky bass. Look at that. Huh? 